Great Plains, where at one time, 30 million formed the biggest mass of large mammals ever found on the Earth. Now, the only buffalo are found in preserves. Buffalo are really more accurately called bison. For your buffalo, you will need instant paper mache, acrylic paint, a terracotta pot, 18 gauge wire, plaster of Paris, small gravel, a paintbrush, tape, raffia, a toothpick, and wax paper. Today, we're making just one of these amazing creatures. Let's take a look at our finished buffalo. He looks ready to roam the plains. Now let's get started. The first thing that you want to do is take a pattern. And I drew out this pattern for the buffalo. Then I'm going to make a copy and lay it in between two sheets of wax paper. Now the next thing is, is to mix your instant paper mache. And I've mixed a quarter of a pound of the solution along with eight ounces of water. And I mixed it in a plastic bag because that makes it really easy to work with. You just knead it until all of it is moistened. And then I'm going to take it out and lay it actually on my pattern. And it's kind of like a, well, it's an instant paper mache, so it's kind of got the consistency of um, like almost like a, um, a paper with like glue in it. But I'm going to smear it out over my pattern. And then what I'm going to do is take my pattern and look underneath and sh shape my buffalo. And so I'm looking down to my pencil lines. I'm going to go in for his body and come out for his leg and his tail. Now, you can see it's got the basic shape, but it doesn't have any of the detail. And to achieve that detail, what I've done is used a toothpick. And I'm actually just making little curls. And by pulling up on the paper mache, it'll actually give the appearance of that big bushy mane. And what I might want to do is take a little from this side where it's a little bit thicker and slide it over here and make give a, a little bit thicker appearance to this one side. But you can see how easy it is when you have the pattern underneath, you can get exactly the right shape. And it's not going to look like much until it's painted. So let's draw this line here for his mane. He's also going to have a tail here and keep pulling up that paper mache so it's real rough in that one section. Now, you want to let this dry, and if you place it um, like out in the sun, it will actually dry a little bit quicker. And when it's all done, he's going to look like this. You can see how this one, we've even pulled it up a little bit more. So I'm going to move this to the side. And now it's time to start painting. Now, I've chosen two colors. I want to do his mane and his tail in a really nice copper metallic color. So I'm just going to paint on, and you want to get down into some of those crevices. And then I'm going to come back with the golden brown with a little bit more yellow and actually do his body. Now just because I'm not going to have time to paint the whole thing, I'm going to go dip into my gold paint. And you see I didn't even clean my brush off because I want a little bit of variegation in his color. You could also add some other shades of brown if you'd like. But you're just going to paint his entire body. And when he's all done, he will look like this. And I actually painted this one a little bit darker gold. Now, once you're to this step, you want to prepare your pot. And what I've done is I've taken a little two-inch pot, and then I took gravel and some plaster of Paris. And I just mixed it in a bag. I'm going to pour it in here. Then I have a piece of wire, which is about an 18-gauge wire. If you have thicker, even 13-gauge would be great. And to wind this and make the coil, I just winded it around my uh, paint container. So I wind it around. I'm going to slip that off. And then on this one, I just put a little piece of masking tape, pop that in the bottom, pour my um, paper mache, or I'm sorry, my uh, plaster and gravel into the bottom. And then this wire, since this is paper mache, it's actually pretty porous. I can just poke that into the back and make a little hole, and he's going to st sit right there. My last step is to just take some raffia and tie a bow around the bottom. And there you have it. Your buffalo is ready to cross the plains.